Hello friends, welcome back to your channel Learn and Earn. Myself Dayanand and this is Excel VBA 2016 part 15, the beginners to advanced 30 days edition. Now we have reached exactly half of the tutorial, so we are at 15th video today. Well, let's continue where we left on the previous video. So in part 14, I had shown you how do we register, how do we create a register form which will take all the username uh, the personal details and then saves into the Excel workbook. Today I'll teach you how do we create a login page which will verify the username and the password given to that and then uh, lets you authenticate, uh, lets you in. Okay, that will be quite interesting. Let me show you a quick demo here. Now this is the login form which is asking for username and the password. So let me use one of these examples. You could see the username stored in the database here, Dina Ryan, and the password PWD123. So I'll use that. Dina Ryan, PWD123. When we click on login, the system will identify the username and the password matches. If it is correct, then it will give a confirmation message saying login successful. If something say, incorrectly entered it says invalid details and try again okay so i'll show you how do we program this what are the requirement you need to have so before we continue so please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and please do share it with your friends on the facebook wall wherever possible okay thank you uh, let me take you to the vba editor directly without wasting much time so uh, I always like to keep the coding simple and easy for everybody to understand. I just write, so if you have seen all my video, I only teach uh, maybe two, three lines of uh, coding, which will actually does what we uh, exactly to do in the tutorial. Now, all I have here is one single line of coding, which is using VLOOKUP function. And then uh, we are uh, getting the e password and matching with the username authenticating the user pretty simple so look at this going back to excel here this is where i have the the data the username and the password stored as long as any username matches to the correspondence password the user is okay to log into the account okay now i have created a temporary uh, a variable saying pwdg that is password given is I'm going to check. This is a syntax, a complete syntax you need to remember. What I have highlighted here is syntax, which says application dot worksheet function dot vlookup. This is a function which you use in VBA. If you're using it in Excel, you will simply use is equal to vlookup. I hope you're all familiar with this. Okay. So, but here we use application dot worksheet function dot vlookup okay now this comes with four arguments watch this for me application dot worksheet function dot vlookup this comes with four argument argument number one is the value you're looking for which is the username argument two is the range where the data where the source is available argument three is the column to be read argument 4 will be 0 let me show you an example writing it here so we look up i need a lookup value what i am looking for i am looking for username then the table array so table array is from here to here the table where from d1 to e 20 okay and then column index is to mention which column uh, the the looking value or uh, value you're looking for is available now this is the column one this is column two so my value available on the second column so you should be mentioning two for that and the last value should be zero this is how we normally enter vlookup in excel workbook which is similar we use in excel vba as well so you will mention lookup value if you notice the lookup value for us is coming from the user form which is this text field so i have named this as uname okay so uname dot value will be our 
lookup value i'm sorry i say uname dot value and i have the password details saved in the range d1 to e10 this is i'm giving it d1 here i've taken the range until here for my sample and then the password exists in the second column yes it is column number one column number two second column and this will always remain zero now this value which was found using VLOOKUP comes and saves in the password called PWD given. Okay. Now this has to be compared with the value supplied by the user on this field, the text field of password. So I'm going to use if else condition checking here. So if the password given is same as the password dot value which is given from from this text field then display a message using message box login successful else display message saying invalid details try again i'm ending the if here so this is the beginning of the if and ending of the if that's it this is the end of subject end of the the function this is all there are all we have to ensure this this works correct in the first line and then the remaining is just a, a if else checking so that you'll be all right to uh, develop a completely working function let me run this and show you now i have a uh, let me use it for the username raju the user is raju and the username is rdpu is the username and the password he has set is a b c d one two three okay now when i click login it should say login successful which you can see here since i have supplied right username and this password matches with whatever saved here and if i type something else and then i click login it will say invalid details try again okay yes that was a simple demonstration on to show how uh, the login page should be created and password to match with the uh, user information we have already saved okay so hope it was good learning so now all you have to do go back home try work yourself try this piece of code and yes so you need to develop your own concept the concept in the sense uh, like here you have we look up and also you function used so try working out with these with multiple examples uh, change your the data what we have saved here and see if that works so play with this play with this learn more any questions any trouble you face just leave a comment i definitely answer every single comment on my youtube channel you have already seen them well hope you like this video please do click on the like button and please do subscribe to the channel and share it with all of your friends anybody interested to learn excel vba please bring them onto our channel so together we can uh, learn and earn okay so you have a lovely day happy learning all is well